For the second straight season, the Vermont men's hockey team was in the Hockey East quarterfinal round. And for the second straight season, they would play a road series at Boston College. In last year's series, Vermont lost game one, won game two, and forced a winner take all game three. They then knocked off the highly ranked Eagles that night and advanced to the Garden for the conference Frozen Four. And to this point, this year they had done the exact same thing. One thing was different coming into the year, and that was freshman goalie Packy Munson getting to start between the pipes after a strong showing in Game 2 last night. In the first period, Adam Gilmore spins, serves up a perfect pass to Zach Sanford, who goes backhand, beauty of a goal. It's 1-0 Boston College. Later in the period, Rob Hamilton off to Craig Puffer, who gets a stick on it, puts it in the back of the net, the puck, not the stick. Either way, it's Catamounts 1-1. Second period, Munson stops the first shot, can't get to the rebound. Colin White does, puts it home. BC back in front, 2-1. Cats again respond. Connor O'Neill shoots it from the point. It barely trickles in, but it counts, and we're tied once again. In the third period, still tied. Vermont had been playing catch-up. This time they play lead change. O'Neill nets his second straight goal, UVM's first lead of the game, 3-2. Six minutes later, Boston College does the responding this time. J.D. Dudick. Credited with the goal, 3-3, we get some free hockey, and we head to overtime. Minutes into the extra period, Super Mario Piskaric, second effort, nearly sends the Catamounts into the garden. The refs come over, they say no goal, it would be reviewed, it would be upheld. Still tied on the other end, Ryan Fitzgerald ends a great game and series, wins it for BC, and ends the Cats' run. Jack Cordy was on hand for the big game, and brings us more. Whoever first said hockey is a game of inches wasn't lying. The difference between the Catamounts heading to TD Garden and heading home empty-handed? One inch on a puck that stopped directly on the Eagle goal line in overtime. Head coach Kevin Snedden said the team is taking the loss hard, but that there are still positives to take out of the outcome. We thought we might have had it. Uh, it's just, un, you know, so that, that part of it's, you know, people have always asked me, you know, would you rather lose like that or lose 4-1? I like the fact that we played in an unbelievable college hockey game tonight. Like that was, uh, our guys are going to remember that game for the rest of their lives. You know, and not just the negative of losing it, but but how it's just a, it was a really well played college hockey game. We had our chance, and it was like you said, an inch away, and just wasn't our night. I guess uh, that's just fate. I'm more than happy with the guys' effort tonight and this weekend, and it's been a privilege to play with them and play for this program. It's indescribable. The second that uh, it ends, it's. You just can't put it into words. It's it's uh, it's very disheartening and putting a lot of time and effort in the summers and every day of practice and you know everyone just worked so hard this weekend. You know we deserved a better result. Despite struggling offensively for much of the year, the Catamount offense came alive during its Hockey East postseason run, potentially showing glimpses of what's to come next year. Packy Munson dazzled in between the pipes when he was called upon. Yet another thing to look forward to for the Catamounts. As for this year now, well, it's history. Oh, what a difference one inch can make. At Boston College, Jack Cordy, News Channel 5 Sports.